Winter has officially arrived, the season that most people imagine of a pure white landscape, snow angels, comfy blanket, hot chocolate, and a good yarn with family by the fireplace. But have you ever seen another side of winter? I am going to show you how winter looks like from my perspective. This is the fourth winter I have experienced in Southern Hemisphere. My hometown has a tropical climate so we can grow a variety of food all year round, unlike here. It was a little sad at the beginning to see all my plants that was doing very well in summer are now dead. But after living here a while, I have learned to harvest food at the right timing, stocked up and preserve it enough for the whole winter not to forget to save some seeds from these dying plants so I can regrow them again in the next season for free. It is a plan ahead game. Before the winter comes in full force, there are a lot of things need to be prepared. For firewood, my neighbor farmer allowed me to access to their land and take the dried wood without charging me anything. But normally, I will cook something for them or at least a good boost for their kindness. This is the best part about living in this small town and I quite like this culture. The harder part is to chop these big rings down to small pieces when I only have an axe. Well, there's no fitness around this area so I take this opportunity as my daily exercise and sort of anger release. It works out quite well. To top it up, my solar system struggled to work because of the short daylight and mostly cloudy in winter. Good thing the house comes with generator as backup power source, which I have just learned how to use it this year. It's been pretty reliable and handy apart from when it's not, but it's a good fun. The place where I came from originally is totally the opposite and nothing like this. Because of the hot weather most of the year there, I grew up trying to do everything I can to keep myself cool. Whereas here, I need to do my best to keep warm and dry. I am now learning everything from scratch. Winter surviving skill is completely new to me, but it is a very useful and life-saving that you can apply to many other areas of life in my opinion. Other than myself, I have to be sure my girl are well and warm too. Don't call me crazy.
Gas has an antique cold range as a heating system and for cooking, but I am trying to reduce amount of coal and prefer to use wood instead. I know it doesn't make much difference for the atmosphere, but I'm doing it for peace of mind. Like two sides to every coin, there are always two sides in every story, depending on which side you are looking at. The snowstorm and the winter wonderland are two aspects of a single continuum. They are related together in exactly the same way as the back and the front, and you just don't get one without the other. You will not have a chance to see these breathtaking sceneries without the Antarctic blast and bitter cold days. But Mother Nature has a very generous soul. She just required a little understanding and some effort, and then you'll be able to enjoy these lovely parts of winter comfortably in return. <laughs>